This is Bearded Appliance Repair, and we're going to help you fix it. Howdy folks, we have a uh, refrigerator for you today. This is a Samsung made GE. So what you see in this video will cover um, Samsung and GE French door refrigerators. All right, uh, customer complaint on these models that are made by Samsung is they have water collecting under the deli drawer or ice collecting under the deli drawer. Um, I've been to calls to where they say that there's a leak and they had no idea there was water underneath the deli drawer so if you have a leak on these things or you find that water underneath the deli drawer um, this video will show you what you need to replace to resolve that issue Samsung has a kit that comes with two new drain tubes and along with a heater clip and we're gonna install these in this video today so if this helps, give me a like, subscribe, comment if you have any questions. Um, thanks for watching, you guys. Here we go. All right, I'm going to show you where this water collects. It's run underneath here. <clears throat> this is where your daily drawer is supposed to be, but the customer, they already cleaned it up for me. Because whenever you see that, um, you got ice built up behind that evaporator panel. And if you start taking that apart while it's still frozen, you're going to break it and if you break it you're gonna have to replace it and you're looking at 150 dollars somewhere around there to replace that cover so make sure you defrost it you unplug it turn it off for 24 48 hours with the doors open um, to make sure all that thaws so when you pull it apart you don't break anything but we're gonna take all these shelves out get <clears throat> the screws exposed for that panel and we're gonna take that off and tackle this heater clip first. Remember, folks, before you start working on things, make sure you unplug the unit before you start taking screws out and stuff after you know what the problem is. Um, you don't need to do any electrical tests. That's the only reason you'd need um, power on these things when you work on them is whenever you're doing tests. So make sure you guys cut off the power before you start getting into this panel. But there's four screws, two holding on that middle metal piece, and then two on the bottom. Once you get those out, that panel should come off. It should be pretty easy as long as you got it defrosted. If it's not defrosted, you'll notice that the thing's not gonna be budging for you at all. So um, you'll know it's defrosted enough because it should come out pretty easy. But once you get it off, there's two connectors on the top left-hand side that you gotta take off and that'll expose the evaporator. Once that panel's off and out of the way, you can inspect that hole, see if there's any ice in it still, and we still have a little bit of ice in there, so we're gonna take care of that. I have a, a syringe connected to a quarter inch hose, and I like to put hot water in a cup, get the hot water in the syringe, and just push it down in there to get rid of all that ice. Um, you got to take off the existing heater clip as well. Um, I take dikes or diagonal cutters to cut it off because it is riveted together. So you have to cut that portion off and then spread it so you can give enough room to get it off that heater. But once I get this out of the way, it'll give me more room to get rid of some of that ice underneath there. You'll know when it's clear because all that water that's in that pan now, it will drain. And if you can't get it to drain, then you'll be looking at a stopped up drain tube at the bottom of this thing. And we're going to replace those as well. But you want to 
make sure that ice is out of the way so you can get that heater clip in there but this is the heater clip and you want it in the center so that piece that hangs it goes down into that hole so once that heater heats up whenever it goes into defrost it will thaw or prevent any ice built up in that drain hole but to get it in there it's a little tricky you do have to bend it a little bit to get it around but once you get it down in there you can straighten it back up and put the clips around you got one on each side so you wrap it around it and then for the one in the middle I take some channel locks and I bend it around so the more surface area that clip has um, the more heat will get down to that hole and so just make sure it's all nice and snug and everything whenever you're done um, but once that's on you're done in this section so you can put that panel back on remember those two wire harnesses you got to plug back in and there's gaskets on them which you see I'm grabbing this gasket that got stuck on the female side I'm gonna put it back on the male side here um, but make sure those gaskets in, are in place because they prevent moisture from getting in there and if those things short out it can cause a buttload of problems that you don't want to deal with so make sure those gaskets are there but um, you just get this panel back on the way or the opposite way you took it off get these harnesses in and then push it back into place put the screws in all right panel is back in its place uh, we got the screws in and that metal bracket in the middle we got all that in so we're gonna get behind it now and inspect these drain tubes to get this panel off there's four or five screws that you got to get out and after you get that off I mean the panel just comes right off but um, I got all those screws off we're gonna get this panel off here and on that left drain tube right there you can see an orange water trail uh, that's like a, a rust spot because if you remember that pan from the fresh food section up there it was it was pretty rusty so some rust probably got down into there and clogged that sucker up yeah you can see it so we're gonna go ahead and replace both of these the new drain tubes that come in this kit they come with extra holes so if something gets clogged in it it's got more room for it to escape so there's two extra holes in the new ones so it won't get clogged as easy and you won't be running into this same problem so go ahead and get this kit put in all of this so you won't have to worry about it anymore All right, both drain tubes are installed, heater clip is installed, so all we have to do now is put it all back together. Put it back together, plug it in, and that's pretty much it. If this video has helped you out, give it a like, subscribe to my channel, comment if you have any questions. I'm here to help, folks. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.